If you're a network engineer, you probably know that you need to have some basic understanding of network automation, especially if you plan to take an exam such as the Cisco CCNA or the Cisco Encore, as it's kind of required and mandatory for you to know how to use Python libraries, how to interact with network devices using API calls. And so that's what we're going to focus on this video. I'm going to walk you through the process of using API calls on a Cisco SD1 environment. So it is expected that you have some understanding also about the Cisco SD1 deployment. Now, in short, in SD1 environment, we have essentially four to five type of devices. Uh, we have the vManage, we have the vBone, we have vSmart and we have V edges and C edges. That's what we have. So, but they are divided in two categories. We have the controllers and we have the end devices or V edge and C edges. Now to interact with the SD1, we do it mainly using vManage as the central point of the SD1 infrastructure. So that's the uh, vManage dashboard that you see over there. And for this deployment, I'll be using the Cisco sandbox that it's always available. All you have to do is to reserve and I'll share the link to how you can get to this uh, dashboard in the video description. And in this deployment, we see that we have three controllers. We have vManage, vSmart and vBone. And we also see four one edges, okay? And they are reachable. Now, if you want to get some more detailed information about those devices, we have to click on it and, okay, take a look. Okay, we have uh, three devices that are the C8000 virtual and we have one VH. Okay, we have some detailed information about the, the status, CPU, the health status. Uh, so if we go back to our review and if we want to get some more detailed information about one of the controllers, we can go to vManage and we can see, okay, this is the site ID, the system IP. Okay, all of these looks nice. The thing is that in some organizations, they might want to have all of this information that it's available through different menus to be all into a single dashboard. And that's where we need API so that we can customize the information that we want available on which dashboard. So we wouldn't be using this dashboard normally inside companies or large companies. There is a team dedicated just to build these different dashboards, but they would have to pull this information directly from vManage using the API and API stands for uh, application programming interface. It's just a fancy way of saying this is an additional interface to interact with vManage. The same way I use HTTPS, uh, we could also use APIs or we could use SSH. So API is just a different interface, a different way to interact with vManage and perform the same operations that we normally do using SSH or using HTTPS. Now to make these API calls, we need a specific software, a specific application for that. And in this case, we're going to use Postman. Postman is a free software that will allow us to make API calls to vManage. And I'll be using a Linux Ubuntu machine. I'm going to install Postman. I'm going to show you how to do it so that you can do it by yourself. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to start interacting with vManage in an easy way. Okay, so to get started, we're going to install Postman. And so I'm going to search for uh, Ubuntu software. And I'm just going to search for Postman. So I'm going to select Postman and I'm going to install it. Okay, so I'm just going to type my super secret password and it's going to begin installation. And meanwhile, you can take this time to press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying so far. Okay, it is installed so we can close this and let's bring Postman. Now, Postman can be used offline or online. Now, when you use online, you will have to sign up uh, with an account and then you'll be able to do things like import and export collections. Now, collections, what is collections? Collections is just like a folder 
where you're going to store all the different API calls or requests that you're going to make to a specific device, in this case, to vManage. So I'm going to show you how to create all of that in a couple of seconds. Okay, to continue, we're going to select lightweight API client. And before we do anything else, there is one thing that we have to do. So we go to settings and we're going to disable the SSL certificate verification. That's very important. Uh, if you're like me and you are somewhat sensitive to bright light, we can enable uh, dark mode. Okay, so this way uh, we are able to look at the screen for longer. So now what can we do? Well, we can start creating our request. Let's see if I can create. Oh, actually, because I'm not uh, online, I can't use the collection. But anyway, we can start making uh, the API code. So we're going to create the first one. So how do I know and how you're going to know which API calls, which uh, address, how, we, how do I get this information? Well, I'm going to share this also in the video description. That's the documentation for Cisco SD1. And you have here a lot of information that you can dive later. Okay. Now to keep things simple, I've already selected a couple of URLs that we need to use. So the first one is that we need to be authenticated by vManage. And to do that, we have to send the request to this address. Okay, so let's bring a uh, postman. So I'm going to paste here. Okay, that should be the address. And I'm going to change the HTTP method to be post instead of get. Now, we need to provide the username and the password. To do that, we have to send this inside the body. So we're going to select body here and we're going to select this option X double 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 form URL encoded. And here we're going to provide the key and the values for username and password. So username will be J username and the value for this send box is going to be dev net user. Okay. For password is going to be j password and the password i have here on my file i'm just going to copy and paste right here okay now if everything is okay we can send this request okay and it looks like it's okay so i'm going to expand this and how do i know if it's okay if you pay attention here it's status code 200 okay that's normally the uh, http uh, response when you make the request and it was accepted and everything is okay and once we get this confirmation that the request was sent is okay if we take a look here at cookies we should have this j session id so this is actually a token that is going to allow us to make other operations or to interact with vManage without having to re-authenticate every time okay now this is going to last for a couple of minutes or so and so this will allow us to make other operations such as uh get the number of devices on this sd1 environment so i'm just going to create another request here I'm just going to paste and the method now is going to be get so we just use post to authenticate but uh, in order to get information, we're just going to use get and we're going to send this. OK, and it looks like the response was OK as well. So let me scroll this here and I'm going to scroll. So down, 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 should start seeing all the devices. And this is the manage 10, 10, 1, 1. Uh, let's see. Okay, where's the location? Latitude. So we have V Smart. Uh, we should see V Bond, and we should see V Edges as well. And we have all of it. So we have all the devices. So this is the SD1 inventory. Now let's suppose that we only want to know about the controllers. We can do that as well. So if I select this URL here. It's going to create a new request, paste, and send. 
and the status code was okay so if i scroll down uh, from data i should able to see okay so this is v bond okay we should see four uh actually three so we have v manage v bond and v smart and that should be v bond that's v manage and let's see that should be still v manage and v smart okay there are other operations that we can do as well now because this is a cloud environment and uh, we are not allowed to make uh, certain operations you might want to do this on your own lab environment now if you want to know okay what are the operations that i can do so in my browser so let's take a look so for instance here on cisco sd1 that's a public uh, repository uh, that you'll find that has uh, HTTP requests or API calls that you can use directly on Postman. Uh, you can see, for instance, there is a, a group of them like authentication, uh, get the fabric devices, device status, device counter and statistics, uh, get information about the templates, get information about the template policies that might be applied. So you can add this uh just replace here the url into postman or you can create your account on postman and import this collection another way uh if you want to get really 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 crazy with that and start playing is to go to api reference and this will list uh i would say all the operations or the requests that you can perform on Cisco SD1 v managed depending on the version. So this is for SD1 2014. Now, depending on which v managed version you'll be using, uh, some operations will be available and others might not. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is a lot that can be done, like managing users, uh, admins, uh, Check information about alarm details. Okay. So there is just a lot that you can start doing with uh, API calls on SD1 vManage. Now, if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I hope to see you in the next one.